Now, until flights, cruises, and other more social parts of the economy reopen, we're mostly just stuck in waiting. But there are tons of time-tested activities to do when you are in the in-between, and some even dating back thousands of years, as archaeologists in Israel just discovered. Alyssa Hugel with the story. It's a story as old as human history itself. People finding themselves stuck waiting around and coming up with fun games to play to pass the time. But from backgammon to Leo Bo to the Royal Game of Ur, dice have made a pretty consistent appearance in the games we play. And the Israel Antiquity Authority now finding the largest collection of ancient dice ever found in one place in all of Israel. The huge collection being discovered in Jerusalem by the Western Wall and offering a glimpse into the daily life under ancient Roman rule. Over the past few years, the Israel Antiquities Authority has been conducting an excavation underneath the Western Wall Prayer Plaza, funded by the Western Wall Heritage Foundation. And over the past few years, we've exposed a small theater-like structure, probably founded during the Roman period, after the destruction of the Jewish Jerusalem in 70 CE by the Roman legions. One of the finds with extreme interest were these 35 gaming dice. They look identical to modern gaming dice, and you could practically pick one of these dice up and use it today for any modern game that uses dice. Of course, on top, exposing ancient Roman Israel pastimes. The discovery also exposing another equally human trait, trying to cheat. An extremely interesting die is this one here. If all the dice usually have six numbers, one on each side, this one has a one, a two, no three, and two fours. Apparently, whoever owned this die preferred to have two fours and no three. Maybe he was playing some sort of game that had some sort of preference for uh, either an equal result or a higher result, and he thought he would be able to pull off uh, this little cheat over here.